everywhere you look, you could find lichens. Lichens grow in three different ways. Some are shrubby or tree-like, like this reindeer lichen. And British soldiers, so-called because their scarlet caps, are reminiscent of British military uniforms. Another type of lichens are flat or leaf-like, like the hammered shield and common green shield lichens. This one is one of the few lichens that you can identify from your car going 60 miles an hour. And to me, they look like uh, somebody shot a paintball gun and splatted the tree. The third type are the crustos lichens. It can take decades, even centuries, for them to grow just a couple of inches. Their slow motion competition for space leaves battle lines between colonies, kind of like a map of 18th century Europe. Lichens are actually a symbiosis between two major divisions of life, neither of which is a plant. The most common partnership involves fungi, which provide nutrients to the team, and green algae, which contribute energy from photosynthesis. And if you take those two together, an alga and a fungus, and you mix them up, What you get is a lichen. Lichens don't have roots, so they're prone to drying out. But all it takes is a little water, and they're good as new. Try putting a desiccated lichen, like this lungwort, into water. Immediately, it absorbs moisture, expands, and unveils the algae inside its cells. Lichens are important because they tell us how clean our environment is. So lichens are really interesting. They're indicators of air quality. Areas that have lichens have pretty good air, and areas that don't have lichens probably have air pollution. 